Hello booktube! Today I'm gonna go ahead and do the rapid fire book tag. I was tagged to do this video by Quartagonist and I'll go ahead and I'll link to her video in the description below. So the questions for this are presented in an either or kind of fashion and question number one is ebook or physical books? I'm gonna have to say physical books. I don't think anything can take the place of opening a book and getting that book smell and just having a beautiful cover in front of you. Over the years, I've tried to get more and more comfortable with ebooks, especially since I'm running out of shelf space. It's a lot better to have an ebook on my phone. And if there's a book that I wanna purchase that I don't like the cover for, then I will buy the ebook but I do prefer to have a physical copy. Paperback or hardback? I tend to lean towards paperback. I feel like I'm in the minority there. I know that hardcover books last longer, they come out first, but they're also more expensive. I just hate having to deal with the dust jacket. And for me, I feel like a lot of times I prefer the design of the paperback over how the hardcover is designed online or in-store book shopping. So this one's a hard one because I don't think anything takes the place of the excitement of walking up and down the shelves in an actual bookstore, sitting down with some coffee, opening up the book, just like nothing will replace that experience. But financially, <laughs> purchasing books online is just a lot more economical. There was a time where I didn't even consider this, but after going brick and mortar book shopping over time, my roommate would always be like, you know that's half price on Amazon, right? And I started looking it up. And after seeing the price difference, it was just like, ugh. Trilogies or series? It really depends. If I really like the book, then I might want it to go on forever, but I do like the trilogies and threes because it's like, it's long enough to go a little bit further but not so long that I feel like if I don't get the next book and too much time has passed that I have to give up on the series. So, trilogies. Heroes or villains? I know you kind of need both, but I think for me, I'm more interested in hearing about the heroes. Being a hero is hard work. How do they stay heroes? What kind of temptation do they face? A book I want everyone to read. I think for that, the first book that comes to mind is The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. This was turned into an HBO movie with Oprah Winfrey. And while they did a good job, I don't think it takes place of the information that you'll find in the book by Rebecca Skloot. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks is about Henrietta Lacks and the HeLa cells, which contributed to science tremendously. Her cancer cells were removed from her body without her knowledge, and she and her family never benefited from the advances that science made because of her cells. It's an incredible story, and I think everyone should read it. Recommend an underrated book. I personally consider Landline by Rainbow Rowell to be an underrated book, and in my previous video where I talk about books that made me cry, I talk a little bit about why. What is the last book I finished? The last book I finished was The Mesmerist, which is a middle grade horror supernatural book. What is the last book I bought? So I haven't formally announced this. I guess this is a good time to say it. Maybe I'll make an entire video about how I have put myself on a book buying ban until 2018 with the exception of any books I may have to purchase for my book club or Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bordugo and Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Outside of that, I'm not purchasing books for myself, but the last book I bought was Carve the Mark and it was a gift for Elizabeth from the Owry Books as a belated birthday gift. Weirdest thing I've used as a bookmark. I will really use anything as a bookmark. It might be a little piece of plastic, it might be a sheet of toilet paper, um, a business card, really anything that is within arm's reach. I do not dog ear my pages because I'm not a monster. Used books, yes or no? Once upon a time, I was 100% against used books. I love to keep my books in perfect condition. I didn't even like going to the library. It was all about owning it and keeping it in perfect condition. And so I would always buy them. At this point, I'm happy to pick up a book that's been lightly used at the used bookstore and actually prefer to do so. Top three favorite genres. I don't even know if I can pick three genres. I don't really read like that. I'll read anything that comes highly recommended from friends and I'm pretty open. So I think at least two of the genres that I would say is I read a lot of self-help and I do like contemporary romance. Borrow or buy. So now that I have the Overdrive app on my phone and I'm able to get eBooks and audiobooks 
like immediately from the library. Whenever there's something new that I want to read, I always check there first. If I can put myself on the wait list, I will do that. If it's not available, then I'll try to get it through Audible or I will just go ahead and purchase it off of Amazon. Characters or plot? I I think I prefer reading books that are told in first person and I'm really more interested in what's going on in the character's mind and the struggles and challenges that occurs within the character. Longer short books. I have ADD and so while I can read long books, they start to weigh on me. For example, The Help was a great book, but it was long. And I felt like it was the never ending book. Like no matter how much I read, it just wouldn't end. And I know some people may really like that, but it was difficult for me. So I'm gonna go with short. Longer short chapters. Again, I'm gonna say short. I appreciate being able to open the book, read a couple pages and close it again. Name the first three books you can think of. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Twilight, and Fifty Shades of Grey. That really sucks that those were the first three books that I could think of. Books that make you laugh or cry. Like I said before, I did make a video just recently about five books that made me cry, so I might as well just link that in the description below. But as far as laughing, I think anything by Rainbow Rowell and Colleen Hoover, they both make me laugh a lot. Our world or fictional world? Both. I love stories, whether they're told in our world or another world, so both. Audiobooks, yes or no? I'm gonna go with yes, even though once upon a time I was like, ew, isn't that cheating? I don't think it's cheating anymore. I think it's great. And now that I've accepted audiobooks is not cheating, I'm able to read so much more, and that's important to me. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? All the time. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? I think I prefer book to TV adaptations because they get so much more time to work with. You know, whether you're talking about Outlander or Game of Thrones, where it could be set up over multiple seasons, you're just able to put so much more time into representing the book. So book to TV adaptations. A movie or a TV show that I preferred to its book. For that, I'm going to say The Social Network, which is the movie that was based off the book called The Accidental Billionaires. I think the movie just handled it a lot better than the book did. I had actually picked up the book after watching the movie because I enjoyed the movie so much, hoping that I would get more backstory and more information, and I just felt like the movie was better. Series or standalone? I'd say series. I get really easily obsessed with things. <laughs> So I appreciate when there's more to it. That's it for all the questions and I'm gonna tag Jashana C and Ariel's book list. If you've done this video, feel free to link to it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.